Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share three easy one pot meals that are all low carb, keto friendly, gluten free and just lovely hearty meals. Uh, last week I shared a video with three easy keto microwave desserts and asked what you wanted next and unanimously you voted for one pot meals so I am going to through the week share easy one pot meals and then upload them for you to enjoy. And I will write a blog post which I'll leave down below which will have all the recipes and loads of variations too and you can click through to that to pin bookmark and save so you'll have one pot meals at your fingertips and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know next what do you want to make after these one pot meals do you want some breakfast inspiration or do you want some more desserts do you want more breakfast or more dessert inspiration let me know and I'll get working on the next post for you so yeah let's get into one pot meal number one I'm starting out by making an iron lamb stew so I have got three packages of 300 grams so 900 grams probably around two pounds of Irish stewing lamb you can make a beef stew instead following the same method really whatever stewing meat you can get but you can see we get three for ten euro so I just figured that was a good deal and I'm going to start out by cooking garlic and onion in my saucepan I'm using coconut oil you could use butter if you want instead I went through a phase of only using butter at the moment if you're following my channel you'll see I'm kind of only using coconut oil that's just because what I'm enjoying at the moment so I'm going to start by getting these cooking getting the meat browned and then we'll add a bit of veggies later on but I want that meat to cook for a while for a good couple of hours to get nice and softened so I've got the onion and garlic softening in coconut oil really add as much as you want it is about one net carb per garlic clove so as many garlic cloves and as much carbs you want for onion pop that in so I'm going to pop a bit more coconut oil get that softening and then we'll add the meat to brown meanwhile I've opened up the lamb packs and I've salted them and we'll just kind of let them come up to room temperature while the onion and garlic softens so I've popped all the meat in and it's really a matter of cooking it until it's browned all over and then it's up to you if you want to add water or stuff on top you can see it's almost there a lot of it's browning still got to toss it around until it's all browned and then you can add either water or stock or you could even add a can of chopped tomatoes or a jar of low carb pasta sauce or tomatoey marinara sauce it's totally up to you what you would like to add just depends on your how many carbs again you want to allocate and what you've got in your kitchen I've got a tub I keep in the fridge. It's homemade chi chicken stock. It doesn't look too wonderful, but I made it at the weekend and I just use it through the week. So I'm not going to use the whole tub. I might use a bit of a third or so in this and probably just a third or so into each meal just to give it some lovely flavor and then top it up with water. Okay, so I've poured over about a third of the stock and now I'll just cover it with water. So I've poured the water over. I am now just going to let it come up to a simmer. And once it's bubbling, put it down to just a gentle bubble for an hour and a half. And at that point, I'm going to add in vegetables. It's up to you if you want to add veggies in now and have them all cook and all those nutrients go into the stew. I prefer to cook them in the last hour, last half hour or so just so that they kind of hold their shape a bit better and it still brings loads of flavor and nutrients into this one pot meal. But yeah, I'm just going to let this bubble for an hour and a half and then I will show you as I'm adding the veggies. So my stew has been bubbling away for an hour and a half. It's definitely almost there and could do with some veggies. So I'm just going to chop up some veg and add them too. So I've gone for a whole plate of mushroom and broccoli that I've chopped up. There are so many options of low-carb vegetables you can choose. You can use broccoli and mushroom as I've done you can use cauliflower you can include zucchini or asparagus if it's in season radishes there's so many options I'll write loads of options in the blog post down below of other vegetables but I've just gone for broccoli and mushroom and we'll just add them all into the pot and give it all a stir through you might need to add more liquid to it but just see how you go give it time for the veg to reduce a bit 
and depends how liquidy you want your finished stew to be but I'm going to give all of this a stir through make sure it's all kind of submerged in the liquid and just cook it for another half an hour you can just cook it until all the veg are done to your liking it's been simmering for just half an hour you can see how the broccoli is all broken down so if it was cooked for any longer you just end up with little green bits everywhere the mushrooms have reduced down I actually didn't add any more liquid I just gave it time and just helped along but you can see that meat is just beautifully tender and really you could actually make this ahead of time make it the day before make it in the weekend keep it in the fridge and it actually tastes better after a day or two but I'm going to take this off the heat because I'm very happy with how it is and this is going to make a lovely meal beautiful one pot meal that you can really just add any veg you can see the meat is just falling apart perfect lamb stew perfect warming meal but that is this one pot meal keep watching for two more easy low carb keto one pot meals and for today's one pot meal I'm making a leek and broccoli soup I'm going to use just a few ingredients and make a real meal out of this look at the size of this broccoli it's like double the size of my hand I could fit two hands around it it's just incredible so I'm going to make a big broccoli soup I'm going to start by browning some leeks add the broccoli maybe some other veggies too and probably add some creamy cheesy goodness at the end too but yeah it's just it makes a meal once you've added a bit of the good healthy fats with some cream and some cheese and yep yeah, I'm gonna get on and make my one pot broccoli leek soup okay now it just depends how many carbs you want to allocate to your meal I've chopped up the smallest of the leeks I've also chopped up a couple of garlic cloves for some extra flavor and I'm gonna get this started softening over medium heat in some coconut oil in my saucepan okay so I've got the leeks going in So I've got the leek softening in a saucepan of coconut oil and now I'll just chop up the broccoli. And I've filled a whole plate with broccoli. Uh, I'm not using that whole head of broccoli, I'm just going to really cook as much as I want to. You can cook half a head, a head. If you're just cooking a little one pot for yourself, go for a quarter of a head of broccoli. Really just totally up to you. So we're going to pop that in now. Okay, pop the broccoli in. Give it a stir round. Just add salt, pepper, any other seasoning you want to taste. Just going salt. And we'll just let the broccoli just take in all the flavors of the leek and garlic. And then I'm going to add a little of my stock that I showed you in the other meal and some water to cover. So I'm going to add a bit of the stock in. And then I'm going to cover it with water that I've boiled in the kettle. Just to cover. You can pour on as much or as little as you want just depends how liquidy and how much veggies you want in your soup and I'm just going to bring it up to a bubble and let it simmer until the broccoli is soft enough to blend into a nice creamy soup it really doesn't take too long 15 20 minutes maybe maximum really quick and easy one pot meal now when it comes to your creamy cheesiness in your soup you can really just choose your own adventure I'm just going to talk you through options and when it comes to actually blending my soup I'm just really going to mix through whichever I feel like but we won't be including all of these don't panic you can just do one you can do two you can do whatever you like so I've got sour cream over here if you want that sour creamy flavor it just gives like a lovely texture and creaminess to it and just some tang too if you want just pure creaminess there's just cream just mix a bit of cream through that's really the secret to Irish soups here I had one out in a pub recently and I said well, how did you get it so amazing they said more cream and more butter than you would put in at home that's what you put into it so that butter didn't even put butter out on the counter of course there's butter which you could include as well but cream is beautiful and now for cheesiness you could add a bit of parmesan or some regular cheese grate some cheese into it if you want your soup to be nice and cheesy there's also mascarpone if you want that luxurious creaminess that comes from mascarpone or you could just use regular cream cheese mix a pick and mix your favorite experiment try less is more initially put a teaspoon a tablespoon in blend it taste add more just really can do whatever you want but as I said you don't need to do all of these you could just put a couple of tablespoons of cream in to add fat content 
and be done with it totally up to you and once it's ready and once I'm ready to blend it well, I'll make up my mind and decide what to put into it and then blend the creamy soup together okay this soup is done you can see <laughs> the broccoli is super super soft and now it's just a matter of adding creamy ingredients and blending it together so I am going for cream a nice <laughs> generous amount of cream there it's totally again as I said up to you how much you want to put in and whatever you want and I'm going for parmesan as my cheese because then it's super strong it's also high in protein one of the highest protein cheeses is parmesan so we're going to blend that in I'm using my stick blender and we'll just blend it until it's creamy <laughs> a beautiful creamy broccoli and leek soup and now I just suggest having a tiny taste and see if it's cheesy and creamy enough to your liking mm, that's perfect for me you can taste the leek and the broccoli and the parmesan just all blend together and it's just beautiful strong flavored soup it's a freezing day in Ireland today so this is absolutely perfect one pot meal so keep watching for one more easy low carb keto one pot meal and for the final one pot meal, I'm making a sausage casserole. It's just really throwing everything together in a pot and you've got a really good, easy meal. Now with sausages, you can use any sausages you like. If you are low carb keto, just check for the nutrition, check for ingredients. My sausages have uh, per sausage one and a half carbs, 0.2 sugars. So that's pretty low and I'm quite happy having that in my diet. Same goes for, I am using this tomato basil sauce. I actually got this from Aldi again check carbs per quarter jar carbs is 7.7 .7, sugars 5.7 again add them all up decide what you want to use if you want to use a whole jar half a jar and water it down whether you want to add some stock whatever you like totally up to you same with the onion use as much as little you could add garlic as well you could add, have leek like I had in the previous meal loads of different options and I am using courgettes or zucchini depending where you're from I'm going to chop them up so I've got some good greens in the meal as well but there are so many ways to do this as with the other meals one pot wonders you can add in any vegetables you like and I'll write it in the blog post down below but to get started and it's, it's really quick meal to put together because sausages take no time at all to cook so I am going to slice up my onion and get it started cooking in the coconut oil so I've got the onion chopped in the coconut oil there and I'm just going to let it soften and then I'm going to chop up the sausages and once the onion is softened we'll add the sausages in too. I've added more coconut oil getting the pan nice and ready for the sausages which I've chopped up into bite-sized pieces and we'll add them in next. I made a little circle in the middle there you can see the sausages just chopped into bite-sized pieces and I'll just get them browning on all sides and while they're browning I'm just going to chop up the zucchini to add next. You can see the sausages are starting to brown. Just keep giving them a toss and I'm going to add in the chopped zucchini too and just toss it through. I'm happy with that so now I'll add over the tomato -y sauce give it a stir through and then just simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes and you will have dinner. Oh, smells so good. You could top it up with a bit of water as I said or stock if you want to. I'm just going to let it cook like that and then I'll show you once it's done. The casserole's been simmering away nicely for about 20 minutes. It's thickened up nicely. It's beautiful. I'm going to take it off the heat now. And there you go, the casserole is done, the sausages are all cooked through, veggies nice and softened and it's all just thickened up to a beautiful meal. I just love this meal, it's so easy you saw and it's really 
budget friendly as well too with sausages you can really get any sausages that you like but that is the video for today with these three easy one pot meals be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know the next three video whether you want it to be easy breakfast ideas or some easy decadent desserts let me know and i'll get filming to share with you next week and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has all the recipes and loads of variations for these three easy low carb keto one pot meals so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye